What is causality and what is the difference between causality and correlation? Causality is the relationship between a cause and an effect. In a causal relationship, we have a cause and a resultant effect. An example. Coffee contains caffeine, a stimulating substance. When you drink coffee, the caffeine enters the body, affects the central nervous system and leads to increased alertedness. Drinking coffee is the cause of the feeling of alertedness that comes afterwards. Without drinking coffee, the effect, i.e. the feeling of alertedness, would not occur. But causality is not always so easy to determine. Clear requirements must be met in order to speak of a causal relationship. But more about that later. So, what is the difference between correlation and causality? A correlation tells us that there is a relationship between two variables. Example, there is a positive correlation between ice cream sales and the number of sunburns. However, an existing correlation cannot tell us which variable influences which or whether a third variable is responsible for the correlation. In our example, both variables are influenced by a common cause, namely sunny weather. On sunny days, people buy more ice cream and spend more time outdoors. This can lead to an increased risk of sunburns. Causality means that there is a clear cause-effect relationship between two variables. Causality exists when you can say with certainty which variable influences which. However, a common mistake in the interpretation of statistics is that a correlation is immediately assumed to be a causal relationship. Here is an example. The American statistician Daryl Huff found a negative correlation between the number of head lice and the body temperature of the inhabitants of an island. A negative correlation means that people with many head lice generally have a lower body temperature and people with few head lice generally have a higher body temperature. The islanders concluded that head lice were good for health because they reduced fever. So their assumption was that head lice have an effect on the temperature of the body. In reality, the correct conclusion is the other way around. In an experiment it was possible to prove that high fever drives away the lice. So the high body temperature is the cause, not the effect. What are the conditions for talking about causality? There are two conditions for causality. Number one, there is a significant correlation between the variables. This is easy to check. We simply check whether the correlation coefficient is significantly different from zero. Number two, the second condition can be met in three ways. First, chronological sequence. There is a chronological sequence and the results of one variable occurred before the results of the other variable. Second, experiment. A controlled experiment was conducted in which the two variables can be specifically influenced. And number three, theory. There is a well-founded and plausible theory in which direction the causal relationship goes. If there is only a significant correlation, but none of the other three conditions are met, we can only speak of correlation, never of causality. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.